in IntelliJ IDEA, there are multiple ways to test the endpoints or the HTTP requests within the ID. I have an existing Spring Boot application and I have a sample controller. Now in IntelliJ IDEA, beside every mapping, if you can see over here line number 18, I have a post mapping over here and I have a specific icon. And if I hover on top of this particular icon, we can see a tooltip open in HTTP client. This HTTP client is a utility where we can test the different request of this different methods or rather I would say the endpoints in a particular REST controller. Similarly, you can see line number 27 also we have this icon, line number 33, wherever we have the methods with the specific mappings, we have these icons. Let me do a quick thing. I'm going to run this particular application. But before that, I want to provide a very brief overview. You might be already knowing. In this particular Spring Boot application, I have a model class, customer. And this particular application at this point of time is integrated with H2 database. I have a data script inside this DB folder, which inserts four records into the customer table of this H2 database when I start up the application. Let me run the application first, then we are going to execute certain requests using HTTP client and we will see how it works. Clicking on this icon, run Spring Boot demo. The application is started. Let me go to the controller, close everything else. First, I'm going to use this list, this endpoint I'm going to test. If you hover on this icon, this tooltip would be coming or directly we can click on this icon. Let me do that. Now I have this generated request HTTP. It's a scratch file and here different requests are already there as I used it earlier. Let me delete all this, close it and open it again. Now by default, it is giving me this particular request. I clicked here. So for this list, this request is generated. If I click on this icon, it would be run. Let me click this. At the bottom, if I scroll up, we can see the four records. Now, just to show you what is there in the H2 database in that customer table, I'm opening H2 console over here, connecting. This is my table. And if I run, there are by default four records. So if I go back to IntelliJ IDEA, I'm getting those four records back. Coming back to HTTP client, there are certain features. This is purely text-based and it contains specific features like content assets. If I do a control space over here, I see different endpoints which are available within this particular application. Now, in this case, I have find, I have list, I think I have add also. Now, add is not coming because add is a post mapping. It is starting with get. That is why if I change this, if I type PO, I see a code completion over here. And here, if I go to the end and press control space, I have add now. So this way we can type the request and we can see the output over here. In order to see the details of the request, if you notice over here, we have this show request. If I click this, I can see what I am sending. Let me close this. Again, I'm going to search something else. Maybe I'm going to use this find. It's again opening the same scratch file, this generated hyphen request.http and the old request which I used, it is still there. Now, if I go back to the console, the results that I got, there is ID1, ID2. Maybe I want to find this ID2. So this is my request. And here we have different icons for executing this request. At the top, you can see we can run all the requests together. Anyways, I'm going to execute this one only. If I scroll up, you can see this particular record, this response we got. And by default, this is the response file which is saved. Let me click on this. This is the response file. If need be, we can save it for our reference also. I'm closing this for now. Now in HTTP client, there are multiple features. If you see this particular icon, import HTTP request, we can import from Postman collection. We can import from curl command that we can do on the right hand side. If you click on this examples, there are multiple examples we can go through like get request, post request, request with authorization in many scenarios we need them. So if need be, we can go through these examples also. And in case you come to this application later on, there is one particular icon, this one, 
show HTTP request history. If I click on this, then the history of the request that I have used in this particular application earlier, that history is also there. So we can refer to that and we can reuse if needed. This is basically a log of the HTTP requests and these generally have the timestamp when these were executed. So overall, this is the way how to invoke each of the endpoints, each of the mappings in a REST controller staying within the ID using HTTP client. But remember, this feature is present only in IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition.